Lola and what's the challenge and challenge just be it's games here welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun let's play in the last episode we made it right here to the sea folk village and of course we dealt with the Aether Foundation and Lusamine sadly they have gone into the uh, alternative dimension right now so we gotta go and rescue them we gotta go and sort them out because you're not supposed to be in there you're not supposed to be in there, and we're going to help our girlfriend, Lily, get her mom back. Because we're nice people like that. Oh, by the way, in this um, in this Pokemon Center, this girl right here, if you have a Dragon type, she'll teach you Draco Media. And, of course, this guy over here... If you have another dragon type that is very synonymous with the Hoenn region, I'm talking about Rayquaza, then he will teach you Dragon Ascent. So if you have those things, there you go. There's your Draco Meteor and your Dragon Ascent Judas that you'll need to know about. Let's take a look at my team rather quickly. First off, we have Roxy, level 45 with the Rocky and Z to no Continental Crush, and of course has Accelerock, Rock Slide, Crunch, and Rock Climb. Then we have Criminal, level 44, with Skull, Discharge, Confused Ray, and Signal Beam, holding the Waterism Z to uh, use Hydro Vortex. Then we have Roderick. Level 45 with Bulldoze, Firefine, Darkness Larry, and Flamethrower holding the Insorium Z, which of course allows him to use um, his uh, Moonsault move, which I haven't actually tried out yet, but I will. I need to try that out. Then we have Sophie. Level 45 holding the Amulet Coin to get us that money, and of course has Power Jam, Nasty Plot, Faint Attack, and Fake Out. I might give Sophie the Dark Type Z move. I might. I haven't quite decided on it yet. Then we have Woody, uh, level 47, holding the Fightingism Z, and of course that allows him to know all out pummeling, but he also knows Brick Break, Beak Blast, Bullet Seed, and Drill Pack. And then we have Seeds, level 46, with Fairy Wind, Energy Ball, Leech Seed, and Hurricane. Hopefully, soon enough, he'll learn. Moonblast, and I will be very, very happy. Also has the Grassium Z, and I haven't tried out the Grass type move yet, so I want to look into that as well. So I need to try out the Grass type move, and I need to try out Roderick's move because I don't know what they're called. I know, I know Roderick's is something Moon Salt something, but other than that, I know nothing about it. So I guess maybe today we can try and find them. As we continue on with the story. Hey Lily. I'll do my best to keep up, Joe. Um, I'll be fine. I've got max repels with me. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. But you know, I have Pokemon, so if you want, just follow me, stick with me, heal my Pokemon, like at any, uh, like you know, for that kit, that forest in the fourth gen, or something like that. You be like that, and then I will. You'll be safe. Don't worry. And if worst comes to worst, how we can use Nebby? You know, he's not dead. He's just in his uh, Cancun form, so he can still fight. And I got you too. Yep, you got me, your boyfriend, who will save you. A lot. Pony Island. It's completely diff it's a completely different kind of island, isn't it? Yes, as in it's deserted. We're going on a berry hunt. We're gonna find a big one. Good for you. Sort of reminds me of the fact that there's a sort of classic uh, rendition of a children's novel coming up to uh, coming up on TV soon, so I can't wait for that. Oh, there's Gastrodon here! Oh, and that that is the East Coast Gastrodon. You do not see that. 
very often. It is a quite a rare gastrodon to see these days. I don't know why, but you only usually see the West Coast one. And that is kind like it's kind of generic as the West Coast gastrodon. You don't see the East Coast gastrodon a lot. And I like the East Coast gastrodon. It's unique. Eek in its colours, and it's really cool. I like the East Coast gastrodon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to use Fairy Wit. Because I want to catch Gastrodon. If I use Energy Ball, I'll end up killing it. I know what I'm like. Also, I know the fact that the first time he used Body Slam on me, he paralyzes me. Great. And I get Paralyzed Hack straight away. Awesome. The weird thing is, I'm paralyzed and I outspeed a Gastrodon. And I get paralyzed hacks two times in a row. Okay, so... You have Hidden Power Dark, then. Wait, no. Hidden Power Dragon? Yeah, Hidden Power Dragon. Because Dark would still hit. That's Hidden Power Dragon. That's very interesting. For you, to, uh, for you to have Hidden Power Dragon. And I get Paralyzed Axe again. God damn it. I'm trying to... I'm trying to kick... I'm trying to put this guy down so I can actually catch it. Hmm. It's not worth trying a hurricane, Joe. It's not worth trying a hurricane. Good. Help did not appear. Keep using Hidden Power. Since it's Hidden Power Dragon, it can't hit me. So I can keep on putting you in the red. Ooh, Rain Dance. That's also good. Yeah, don't use moves that hit me. Okay, so now it's raining. So sort of boost your muddy water, which is kind of annoying, but... Maybe one more fairy? Yeah, that... oh, that's it. That's it. Ooh, this is a rain-boosted muddy water. Yeah, I knew that would kind of hurt. I knew that would kind of hurt. Rain-boosted muddy water. All right, criminal, be bulk. Be bulk for me, criminal. Whilst I throw a dive ball at this thing. Come on, get in the dive ball. It's a ball specially for you. And, well, you're in the red. I can't paralyze you because I don't have paralyzed the moves, but, you know, you're in the red. Lockdown. There we go. Nice. Gastrodon. A team of researchers is scouting the oceans uh, of the world search of gastrodons in a colour never seen before. Okay. You do not see that Gastrodon very often, so I'm very, very happy I've just got a gas. I like Gastrodon. I'm a big fan of Gastrodon from the 4th gen, and, well, it's a really good Pokemon. You just don't see that version of Gastrodon very often, and that's cool. Like, if I was, if I was, if I drafted Gastrodon, I would be, like, using that form of Gastrodon every week. Because that Gastrodon is cool. There's Pelipper here. I have a Pelipper. I don't need a Pelipper. Yeah, I have a Pelipper. Not needing Pelipper. Run away from Pelipper. There's a girl with a... I swear there's a girl here that uses the Poison Z-move. So I gotta be careful of that with uh I gotta be careful of that with seeds in front because I do not wanna be dealing with a poison Z move. 
What do you have for me, Ace Trainer? You have a Skarmory. I cannot deal with a Skarmory with Seeds. Seeds cannot deal with Skarmories. Flying Z-Move, Steel Z-Move, it all hurts. So, let's get out of here. Steel Wing, okay. Now, uh, Roderick? I wanna see it. Ooh, Marvelous Moonsault is dark. Maybe I should use some, maybe I should use it on something that's weak to dark. Yeah, I probably should actually. It'd be okay if your signature moves with fire, but it's dark, so it's really hard to use it. Or we'll find the right person to use it on. Hopefully I'll find them. Oh, I misclicked. I used I used bulldoze when I wanted to use fire fang. There we go. Oh, come on. Bite him. There we go. Bite him. That's it. Sharpedo coming in. You're not weak to dark. But you are weak to grass. As long as I can nail this before you, as long as I can nail this before you decide to destroy me. Because you can have things like Ice Fang and stuff like that, so you can be quite scary. So Balloon Doom Let's see it. Let's see the Bloom Doom. <laughs> oh, that's so big. Bloom Doom. Literally, that's just what happened there. Doom is what happened there. feel bad for that guy, but then again, I don't. Heal. I need to buy more Hyper Potions. Anyway, so last uh, last night I went to Symphonics, and it was awesome. Symphonics uh, is sort of like a Pokemon musical, and it's really, really awesome to go there, and I enjoyed myself <sighs> A hell of a lot going there and it was just such a good event wait that's the ghost type that's the ghost type corner choreo hang on I mean I'm also very weak to the ghost type corner choreo because of flying but uh Roderick isn't I guess that's can flinch that's fine Let's see this. Marvelous Moon Salt. I will talk more about Symphonics in a bit. Marvelous Moon Salt time. Now that's not a moonsault, that's a 450 splash, but still awesome. So I, I know my wrestling, so I know it's a 450 splash and not a moonsault. Moonsault, you turn around and you hit them when you're face when you're not facing them. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. That is an awesome move, but that is still a 450 splash. I know my wrestling. Anyway, so Symphonics. 
Symphonics was absolutely amazing. I do suggest that you go and see Symphonics. It was absolutely awesome to hear all the renditions of the Pokemon music from the past 20 years. And I just so much uh, love was in uh, was in that one room during that. Uh, from, not just from me, but from all the other Pokemon fans that came to watch the event. We had cos uh, there was cosplayers. Of I saw Team Skull. Team Skull was there. Someone had a lot of people dressed up as Team Skull, and then one person. Uh, a lot of people dressed up as Team Skull grunts, and then one person dressed up as the as Guzma. And it was really awesome to see that. I think there was uh, some person who was the uh, Sun and Moon trainer as well. There was a few other cosplays too, and it was just such a good event. I have a whole new love for Pokemon. And it's all thanks to Symphonics, and I'm never going to get. I'm. Ne I realised that after on my way home, well, on my way back to the hotel after that, I realised I'm never going to get away from Pokemon. I'm never going to not be a. Po I'm never going to not be a Pokemon fan. I may. There may be a time when I'm not a Pokertuber, but there will never be a time when I'm not a Pokemon fan. I I will be teaching my kids this, and so I'm hoping there'll be still Pokemon around when my kids are of when my kids are around. Yeah, that's why one thing I hope that there's still Pokemon around when the, my kids are around. If there if there is, awesome, because I would love to show my kids Pokemon. I think they'd fall in love just like I have with Pokemon and they would just be amazed by it because it just is amazing. If you've only just come from Sun and Moon and, you know, Sun and Moon is your first Pokemon game, so uh, welcome to the clan really, you know, I mean, you're going, to, you're going to love it here. It's just that, you know, I'd suggest you go and try some of the other Pokemon games. That's all I'm gonna say on this matter, really. I suggest you go and see what you uh, see what you find out there. Go and see some of the other Pokemon games, like go and see Fire Red Leaf Green. Go and see Heart Gold Soul Silver. Go and see Diamond Pearl and Platinum, especially Platinum. Go and see what you don't just say like I'm a fan of Pokemon. I got in for the Sun and Moon. You know, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy or that girl because those people are just wrong. You don't. Go and experience the rest of the 20 years of Pokemon. Because you'll be amazed in what the 20 years of Pokemon has given us uh, in games. The qual, you know, if you're a graphics person and all that other stuff, I don't really want to talk to you because uh, the graphics, just, you know, Pokemon's never been about the graphics. It's never been about the story. It's just been about, it's just there and it's awesome. You know, you know, if you, are a person who uh, likes graphics. Go play Call of Duty. Go play Watch Dogs 2. You know, leave me, al leave Pokemon alone. Don't be that guy. That's all I'm gonna say the man. Don't be that guy. If you care about the graphics, really, I don't want to talk to you because, you know, Pokemon's not about graphics. I mean, Sun and Moon is amazingly beautiful, don't get me wrong, Sun and Moon is amazingly beautiful, but if you went backwards, you know, you'd uh, realise that, you know, Pokemon was not really about graphics, especially if you went back to things like uh, Red and Blue. Although, I would suggest it, see where it all began. Okay, I, I am sort of poisoned here. This is sort of scary. Uh, I want to switch. Criminal, get the hell out there. Okay, criminal. Discharge. Ooh, that does nothing. This is the Poison Z move. This is what I was talking about. This is the girl. Yep, Acid Downpour.
That's the girl I was talking about. That does a lot of damage, does that poison Z move. It doesn't kill, but it does a lot of damage. Nice paralyze. Poison jab. Okay. One more. Nice. Damn you, Ace Trainer Lindsay. Uh, what do I need? I need a towel. Got criminals clean. Medicine for you. There we go. And healing medicine too. Potion, nice. Oh, we had to buy those soon, hopefully. If I get my, uh, forget my trial, if I keep doing my trials. Cool. Is further up here. You. You're a chef. That's what you have. We are coming to the end of this game now, and that's rather sort of annoying, but like, it's fine for me because you guys will see all this amazing content. You guys will see all this amazing let's play that I'm going to give you guys. And. I can just sit back and relax when I have internet and just edit and upload these videos instead of having to worry about not uploading these videos anymore. Because I'm starting, I feel like I might have internet soon. I feel like it might happen, but the fact is, you know, you know, it's Christmas and all that, so. On the day I'm recording this, uh, I go away for, um, Christmas and two I go away for to my family for Christmas in about two days time it's really kind of you know scary to be away from my uh, to be away from home again but it's good to see the family and uh, that's basically what it is every year I go down and see my family and my brothers and my and my sisters and stuff like that and my kids because I'm the only one in the family who doesn't have, well me and my oldest brother who are the only two that don't have kids of their own who knows? Maybe that, uh, maybe my oldest brother will have kids one day. I don't know if I'll ever have kids. I would like to, but like, we'll see. It's good to see you again, Mudsdale. You look to, you look to be on fine form. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like it's a hard path to walk. And even so, you don't let it, uh, you don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. Just keep striving forward together. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it, Joe? Uh, and you brought Lily along too. Awesome. Yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. 
you look diff you look different. Like you're ready to go all out for something now. Thank you, Hapu. I finally discovered what I need to do. This is my Z powered form. <laughs> oh. Oh, then do your best, Lily. No one can call you Lily Levered. Not sure about that one. Don't really get it myself. Um, so, Hapu, do you. It, do you know where we could find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Um. Hmm. Don't have one here on the pony. What? What do we do now, Joe? Well, I suppose th the time might be right now. I'm almost finished. I'm already to finish. I'm already finished up my battle against the odd little thing that. That apparently appeared in the night sky. Alright, Lily, let us protect the ruins. Stick with me, you two. So, is she appointing herself Kahuna? I think that's what it is. She's appointing herself as Kahuna. Joe, we just have to keep going, right? Then I suppose you're a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always do keep moving forward. Wait there. Eek! Hello. I'm sorry. I don't think we were being. I don't think we've been introduced. <laughs> I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends of my girl? Um, yes, we are. Oh, so she has friends now. Traveling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. I'm a machoke. Looks at me flex my muscles. Wait, no, it's a machamp. It's a machamp. Look at him flex his muscles. I want you to head uh, for Pony Island's ruins. How about uh, a bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your ride pager for a moment. Okay. The champ was registered as a ride pager. You, you'll need to move some big obstacles It'll da to make it down the path that you need to tra that you hope to travel. I wish you both a bright future. My Hapu was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll come to the pony. A beaker crossed. You'll know by the soil. It's pitch. It's black as pitch. Go through there and you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a great help. The ruins of hope. That's where the guardian of the Pony Island will be. That's where Topo Finney lives. Let's go. You go. I will go and I'm gonna go and check out Hapu's house. Because that's what I like to do. And I know there's another Zygot core around. I think it's uh run the rooms back here. Is this room? There it is. There it is. Cinder wants to talk to you. 
I see. Now you've just collected another Sagar core. Each one of the cores uh, moves is memorized by the Zygarde cube. You can teach a move to a Zygarde as many times as you like. Everything's up to you. Bone up a chance. Okie dokie. So that's three Zygarde cubes now I have. And I don't know how many cores I have, but... Let's see what I've got, actually. Fire up the Zygog cube, and let's see what we got in here. Zygog cube. No, no, not use the item. Check. I've collected 43 cells, and there are 33 in the cube right now. And I have three cores. Okay. So I'm getting there, you know, I mean, it's going to take me a while to uh, get this whole thing done, but, like, probably by the end of this game, I might have 50, so, you know, I might be able to make normal Zygarde. You know, the Zygarde we all know and love. I just don't know if I'll be able to make the um, uh, Zygarde 100% form without some kind of, like, super speedy grinding montage towards the end of the series, which you guys will probably see in the after game. Yeah, probably that's when I'll be doing it. You know, probably like the the episode before last or something like that. I don't know exactly when I'll be doing when I'll be doing that, but it will be fun to make that video. Hello. I want to get to that move. I want to get to that. Let me get to that. This is, an, is a HM a TM there, and I want it. You have four Pokemon. You have a normal sand trip. That's awesome. I like normal sand trip. Um, Roxy, you're probably the wrong Pokemon to have out here right now. Roxy, you return. Go seeds. Now I know Hapu is the gra is a ground type person who likes ground types. So I think seeds might be the one I need to use here because if I was to use Corino uh, against her, I would probably end up getting hit with things like high horsepower and stuff like that because, you know, I'm weak to ground. So I don't want to deal with that. So I feel like this would probably, the best option for me would be, well, it's right here, it's seeds. Seeds is my best option. You have sturdy. That's annoying. Don't have sturdy. But, you know, seeds can live in earthquake being grass type. So that does nothing to seeds. Fairy wind. Go! There we go. Roxy goes to level 47. Volpec. That's not something you can deal with, Seeds. That's something Criminal can deal with. So, switch out. Go, Criminal. Okay, so this is normal Voltex. Uh, scold it, please. I'm so there, there is some news that I'm kind of annoyed by, which I just fa which I found out about last night uh, after I got home from uh, Poke after I got home from Symphonics, which is uh, Pokemon Prism was supposed to come out uh, uh, was supposed to come out uh, uh, online a few days ago and uh, was actually taken down by Nintendo uh, again. Nintendo seems to not I don't know what it is about Nintendo. But they don't seem to... Nintendo doesn't like us. That's what it is. Because we... Uh, there have been, like... We've made fan hacks. We've made commute... Uh, you know. We've made things that, like, Nintendo just doesn't like us. That's what it is. Nintendo just doesn't like us. It doesn't like Let's Players. It doesn't make... It doesn't... If I had used Signal Beam, I would have lived. If I had used Signal Beam, I would have lived. Yeah. Anyway, so 
Nintendo doesn't like us. We uh, doesn't like Let's Players because the Nintendo Creators program that sort of proves it doesn't like Let's Players. The um, awful work it's been doing against fan ha uh, ROM hacks and stuff like that proves it doesn't like uh, it doesn't like the ROM hacking community. Even though they're only trying to tribute the game, it doesn't like uh, people making their own music because I know that Nintendo has copyrighted. Uh, that sometimes i know that like fan translations like for example i believe uh we used to there used to be a fan translation of like mother of uh, mother one and uh, be, and that but right before uh, the earthbound remastered came out on 3ds they took that down so it doesn't like the really nintendo doesn't like the fans and that's really annoying because we like Nintendo. We love Nintendo. We're huge fans of Nintendo. It's just Nintendo doesn't like us. And it's wrong that Nintendo doesn't like us. This is the last part I'm doing in this episode. You have a Toadinator. Nice. That's kind of scary to deal with because you are both Fire and Dragon and you have that special move. Which you could use. Not that move. That's not the move I'm talking about. Although that does hurt. The move I was actually talking about was the other move you could use. But like, I'm not going to give you the opportunity to use that special move of yours. Siege Quest level 48. Drampa. Normal dragon type. People were saying this was going to be a pseudo of Gen Five and uh, Gen Seven, and it wasn't, because we know what the pseudo of Gen Seven is. Although Berserk is a really interesting move. That's a really interesting ability. I do not like that. But your your special attack goes up when I hit you. But you're not going to live two rock slides. Bye, Drampa. Right. This is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. So, in today's episode, we met up with um, Hapu right here on Pony Island, uh, on the Pony Island path, and we are heading towards the vast Pony Canyon for the Ruins of Hope. And uh, we will go there to... Uh, we will go there in the next episode. That's what we'll do. We'll go there in the next episode. I'm going to heal. And we'll see what happens in the next episode. But if you did enjoy today's episode, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, um, make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on what I've talked about today. And if uh, let me know. Uh, question of the day for today's episode. Uh, for, I feel like I might start doing question of the day again. When, what was your first Pokemon game? When did you come into the Pokemon? When did you come into Pokemon? Or if you've been in Pokemon and come back, uh, you know, if you've been away, if you've been in Pokemon, you've been away and then you came back for Sun and Moon and stuff like that, tell me about it in the comment section down below. It'd be rather fun to know that kind of thing. It's very really interesting, and I'll try and reply to as many comments as I see. And until next time, I'm Juice PH Games and. Mean to the Pokemon, get to the Zer. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night.